pretty sure he's coming to this really confident. He's doing really well with losers. Yeah. He's actually been doing pretty well in tournaments, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he's one of the characters that can actually do well against all Mars and recovery mix up because he has such giant hitboxes. Yeah. And they last forever. And then he has really good coverage on the stage as well. If you're in a tech chase coverage against him, if you saw him like you saw YMC earlier on the street, mm -hmm. punishing Kira Flax, every time Kira Flax trying to roll through like a tech chase, he just down the immune that giant hitbox comes to everything. <laughs> Relaunches the character uh, buff Donk Count, which is one of the scariest positions because he doesn't have ding dong itself, mm -hmm. but he still has up there which is relatively strong as you kill. Yeah, I pretty early percent. You, if you sleep on it, you will get hit. It'll hurt. It will. He can still. He doesn't. Have, you know, that kill percent anymore. But he can still do like up there, up there, like two times, you know, like seventy-five. And yeah. You can throw off stage like, oh no. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what uh, HP two can do against YMCA. All right, so far, one thing that he notices is, hey man, I gotta keep my space away from the dong. He comes in too close, gets a grab, gets a couple jabs against me. Damn, it's not gonna be a fun time here, and he kind of respects that. But there's the parry coming up from YMC and goes for the quick forward tilt as a punish option after the parry. Alright, so I feel like this is a little bit of a question decision because YMC is gonna have a little bit more trouble time landing, but at the same time, he does go back for it. And as well as talking about the down B slam. Yeah. He's in a bad spot in the corner stage. YMC taking like that roll distance, just holding for down B. Yeah, because it can cover it can cover neutral get up and roll get up. Yeah, and get up attack won't reach him at that distance. Exactly. Yeah. And this is pretty good because he has this heavy, he has the donkey punch super armor. I heard it's also giant punch. Yeah, giant yeah, punch. He has a super armor on the ten wine, and then also if he throws he's heavy, so he's not gonna die for quite a while. Yeah. There's the, there's the side. Yep, and there's a punish afterward. I like the fact that HB2 just held on to the shield there. Oh, gets caught by the fair. Almost dies. Landing fair, man. If I'm not mistaken, they actually got buffed. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, okay, you're, so you're yeah, good. There he goes. That's another scary thing. Donkey Kong has kill throws. Yeah, he does. Besides just standard has, back throw, he, he doesn't have like. I'm sorry. Run off cargo down throw, run yeah. off cargo fair, and then he has back throw as well. Back throw, oh, yeah. There's the. Oh, for the Anaconda squeeze. Yeah. Just throws you. Somehow slams you on a mid air platform. It's just like, here we go. Yeah. So that's another good thing. Look at that. Oh, never mind. I jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shout to HP2, man. He only said the distance there. He didn't want to... <laughs> Rival, I'm happy they lost HP2. Okay, YMCA, though, looking for a possible edge guard. HP2 able to barely survive there with the Pikmin. All right, I like it. Just trying to close the gap there with the Pikmin. Tosses them in just to get any percent here against YMCA. Goes for an aerial option. I kind of want to see him punish YMCA's landings. And I like the fact that he spaced himself finally there to avoid getting hit by the oh, that was dumpy. Dash tackle bar back here. Oh, oh, oh that was that that so dead risky zone. too. Dead zone. Yeah, the dead zone. What's crazy about Smash Ultimate too is there's a lot of dead zones in the yeah, game. Yeah, there are a lot of dead zones. They decided not to make the giant like the circular hit boxes. And Thank now God. they're actually like spacing can move like where if you misspace it, it will win. Yeah. Had that been Smash 4, I'm pretty sure you two would have died. Oh, that, uh, hands down, yeah. Okay, so HP2 definitely very well, bringing this back. Well, it's behind it quite a bit, but took his stock, and you can do it now, has the lead. I feel like it comes comes down to HP2 playing the spacing. You see, we talked about earlier how YMCA could go for the down B and space himself at the ledge, but the thing is that HP2 could definitely just jump off the ledge, go for Pikmin there to get yeah. to get the punish, and then start looking to come back on the it stage It does help now that he has two purple Pikmin with thrown blue claws, slight knockback, so that is yeah. a little more of an hindrance to YMCA's plan. Oh, almost gets the up smash. My, should have inched a little bit closer. Should have gone for first match. That shield was so small. Oh my God! Well, HP2 and had to back oh off. Gosh, oh, he had to. Pokes. Yeah, he did. And so far, he was able to drift up to the left. Why is he fishing or feeding for this kill? He wants to end the stock. Yeah, he, he wants. He wants the cycle. He almost laps, and HP2 still has that stock. So this is a really scary situation. And as I say that, he gets left. Oh, well, that now it's taking. Landing forward air. Don't expect it. It just hits you, and you're like, oh, I'm dead. Yeah. And it's it the it's the least move you would expect yeah. DK to go for. It also doesn't help now that you can't detect grounded spikes. But HP2 will seal out the stock, calling out that bear with an up smash. Yeah. Good job, Kit. Marcy had the lead in the beginning, but HP2 really dashed his fire straight back and took game one. Yeah. It's kind of hard for, like, I, I wanted to say one thing that YMCA was doing, he started pressing buttons. He was really desperate just to take the stock. I, he really wanted to finish that early, kind of like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm behind, I need to get the stock now. Yeah. So kind of started throwing out the world one punch. I don't know what that's called, also. the side B, he threw that a little bit more often. I usually call it the, the Zongcopter, or like the Red Tornado, because it looks like Zongies. It's very reminiscent of Zongies. They're reminiscent of Zongies, <laughs> Zongi like both both DK and Incineroar have that same move, except like DK's moves a lot more. I will right, see what things can go here. Going to Smashville. Smash Bros. So, okay, so HP2B is adapting more. He's playing more of the camping game. Ooh, that was 
I wonder if he was trying to go for like down air, back air, or up air. I think the one thing that HP2 is going to start looking for is get Pikmin there and look, look at the response. YMCA knows he has to get the Pikmin off of him or either go straight forward towards HP2. HP2 is a little bit more ready for YMC because he knows he has a little bit of panic just to have the Pikmin on him. Down tilt to forward air. Good option there. Solid follow up gets the forward smash. HP2 just closing the gap here, trying to push out to the ledge. Calling out YMC as aggressive lining options. That's so good. Why is all of our down airs? Like, I know before recall it too long, but like right now it's so good. He's able to use it. It's kind of escape out of some, so many bad situations. Yeah. And it's pretty scary. Okay. Oh, oh YMC. There it is. There's the mix ups that Donkey Kong is so scary about now. He doesn't have Ding Dong, but he has so many other ways to kill you. He has the down throw, or cargo down throw off stage. He has back air, or back throw off stage itself. Cargo, back throw, cargo, forward throw. So many different ways he can kill you. And like right there. He grabbed him, ran off stage, and he thought, oh, maybe he's like back throw me again. But no, he didn't stand. Throw him downwards. He's a stage spike that he's not prepared for. <gasps> oh, it's the forward air. HP2 looking for a possible edge guard. Looking for the possible down air, but my YMC barely able to eat himself back to the stage with that up air. Okay. This is percent for YMC here. He's looking for a little bit of extra credit home to turn in. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, oh that, that doesn't red and break shield shield pokes. Yeah, shield pokes. Breaking oh, shields is much different than it used to be compared yeah. to Smash 4. Oh, that's going to be there the end attack. Missed attack. But able to recover, quick recovery. Oh, gets call up for the get up attack though. Gets flats. Yeah. YMCA is firing back. Sorry, this game is like, wait, that last game was, that was a fluke. Come here. Oh, okay, he really wants to steal that stock. Running up, getting off, throwing out the wild bear. What the? Did you see that? I, I don't know, man. And that will, I, I, you know what? HP2 F smash, right on the left side of the platform. The yellow pick went up above the platform. Yeah. This is a best of five. It <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a best of five. So, so far, HP2 has another opportunity to get to the back air. Finally, a little bit of a breather, man. He's been feeling the heat from YMCA. Still a dangerous spot, though, because he's down. At 80, 97%, and this is like Donkey Kong constant percent. Yeah. He's on Smash Bros. Those blast zones got reduced. Mm -hmm. He is a death to dying to almost anything Donkey Kong can do at this point, especially if he gets grounded. Nice. Well, so far, HP2, sometimes the percents of the stocks are really on the board there, but if HP2 can clutch out some neutral wins here, it might be a hold the shield, and that's going to shield broke. That's what YMC has been looking for, man. He's been getting these cyclones, and every time he sees HP2 at the ledge, sometimes he pulls it off and he's not afraid because he knows it'll shield poke. Yeah, shield he has poke. to hold shield. Shield poking is so good in this game. People yeah. still underestimate the power of it. It's like, yeah, it wasn't. It was almost obsolete in Smash 4. Honestly, like you can yeah. hit someone with their, you can hit their body while the shield's out and it'll still hit the shield. Mm -hmm. This game, though, the moment any part of your body's exposed to those little round hitboxes, you, know, you get hit. I wanted to see HB2 go for a jump out of shield option and then move towards center stage. He was there at the corner, man. He shouldn't have been there. He was scared. He had, he had option. Yeah, he was definitely scared for sure. Like I said, he, he was feeling the heat from YMCA. Yeah. It's a big monkey running into power from hitboxes. He didn't want to be anywhere near him. So he keeps giving up stage control of YMCA. Capitalizing on it. Look at that. One grab. 47%. And also off the stage now. And okay. Oh, man. He's just spamming there. Yeah, he is, he is panicking a little bit. It seems like. And YMCA is having none of it. Okay. Gets the grab here. Could be big for HB2. I like the fact that he sticks the Pikmin on YMCA. Pretty much percent right. Close enough. Gets another neutral air here. And gets the pivot grab, punishing YMCA on the landing. All right, so good job, HB2 firing back. He has a slight lead right now, but yeah, takes control a little bit more away. from last game. Yeah. I mean, there are no platforms here, so he's able to just use the big distance, the big, um, big stage that is Final Destination. It's like good and bad for that one because it doesn't break the shield anymore, but it still shield pokes you, and so that's still scary in of itself. Yeah. Nice. Goes for the up throw. That won't take it. DK is pretty heavy though, but he resets the neutral here and he gets the stage to himself. Yeah. HP2, if he loses neutral here, man, YMC can make the comeback for all the good effort he's done yeah, and that HP2. purple Pikmin. Yeah, I was going to say, he has a really good lineup. He has some purple Pikmin to knock him back and also there's a blue Pikmin to get a kill for him. Yeah. Donkey Kong is heavy, buddy. No one goes forever. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, man. Nobody does lose forever. Yeah, man. HP2 is like, yeah, that last game. It wasn't very well, let me just let me fix this. Goes off stage, why don't you we'll just kind of stick? Okay, trying to read another get up option with F smash, but. I do, I do respect the fact that YMCA was setting up that forward smash because he was looking for a punish there, but that, that situation, as I was mentioned earlier, HP2 could just go for those Pikmin from that distance. Especially if, if he's on the ledge, he shouldn't be really going for neutral or, or roll get ups. If you see your opponents at a distance trying to read your option there and you have items to throw away to push them away, 
and they're charging an S-Match like that, you should be able to punish there. Yeah, there's no reason for you to approach, but one team will be... Will Shield Pokemon once again call him out with the side of the kill? He will stock out. I feel like HP2 is respecting the copter a little bit too much. I understand how that, how like that's really good. You can just jump out of shield. You're Olimar. You have you can just move around. DK. All right. So we'll do the down tilt and then reads the spot punch with the down tilt. Oh, tries to get the giant punch, but a little bit too far forward. And HP2 will still stock out without such punching for that. Yeah. Yeah. YMC is scaring. He's scaring me. Is that like the spacing? Because he does have these kill moves. Oh, and it's in there. Run back S Smash. YMCA is joined for the entire game and oh, see the last time. See, now it's basically even. Once again, and oh, there you go. Percentage. There, 37, 53. And he's off stage. Oh, that was so close. And YMCA is like, okay, yeah. He's, HP is rolling into him a lot right now. It feels like he's a little bit scared and YMC is just calling out the run back S Smash. Same situation, man, but it's not going to kill HP2 out of struggle right now. YMCA is closely bringing this back in his favor. Yeah, he's calling. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that. YMCA is calling out because HP2 is either rolling into him or kind of running away, and YMCA is yeah. calling that out with the side beat. Nice. I like that punish there. Immediately uh, reading the jump out of ledge. Right, nice. Humble, fourth throw. Okay. HP2's edge guard phase here. Almost oh. gets the down smash, but he's able to power. YMC powers through it. Same situation the last time. He HP2 running away. Yeah, HP2 needs to start adapting to that. It makes oh, the recovery, yeah. Miss spaces that back air. HP2 gets back. Oh, oh no, he got grounded. He got grounded, he man. He tried to go for a move, extended his Herfox, and YMC throwing out the headbutt, grounding HP2. Head ground. As far as I'm concerned, groundings didn't get nerfed too hard. Yeah, they didn't. They, they were like. They got they got toned down a bit, but they're still relatively strong. Yeah, that is very true. I, I feel like it was more of a change than a nerf, if you ask me. It was more of a tone. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they fine tuned it a bit. They didn't really change it too much. <laughs> so, good job to YMCA. Bringing this back, he was down. HP2 took the first game of YMCA, taking the next two. He's now up 2 1. One more game, and then he'll be fighting elegant and lose his final. HP2 in a lot of panic against DK. We'll, yes. we'll see things, well, how things are going. Kalos. Yeah, the first game he was really confident, but then the second game, YMCA just kind of ran all over him. And then game three, YMCA just kind of, kind of called out HP2's like runaway habit. Yeah. He gets grab, up throw to the up air. YMCA looking for this percent here. He kind of knows like if he gives HP2 too much time to set up Pikmin and go for those um, those grab options and setups there, he can definitely start finding himself at the wrong end. But HP2 finally lands, gets a neutral air here. I want to see the one thing that HP2 needs to start doing is every time he has DK after stage, don't let him land. Yeah. Don't let him land. If you have to be aggressive off stage, you have to be aggressive. Man. But I feel like he's scared of YMCA's landing options. Yeah. Respect. Landing forward, dude. Like he's YMCA has been getting that all game long. Yeah, oh, and that'll do it. Nope. Oh, he fell out of the last hit. Yeah. He got caught, got near the middle. He got near the end of it, so kind of just falling out of both hits. Yeah. So there it is. Not respecting his hitboxes right now. Remember Donkey Kong, the tip, tool tip of the day. Bears come in pairs. Yeah, they do. There's always more than one bear, yeah. dude. If a Donkey Kong throws out a bear on the short up, expect the second one. Yeah. There's for, it's not the same for DK, right? If you get hit by four there back in Smash 4, there's going to be another one. Oh, yeah. Like this game, if you throw, even in Smash 4, Donkey Kong throw one bear in the short up, there's another one coming. Yeah. Usually trying to read your jump option. Okay, HP2 though looking for a possible slot oh, okay. to take here. Oh. Good spacing, and he punishes him for being too long on the ledge. The invincibility will run out. I think he called him from Call out the jump get up. Yeah. I was gonna say either he got pre punished the invincibility or yeah, the, the get up attack. I HP2 really needs to stop putting himself in the corner. Yes, Dunk Kong is scary, but you're giving him way too much control. And At not respecting side B. He's not respecting side B. It's not only that, that situation though, YMCA went for the copter. I'm sorry, the Cyclone, and HP2 was stuck ch tossing out the Pikmin. Oh, uh, that, is that death? That is, yes. yeah. Run off cargo down. Well, MCA has so much confidence at this point. Like, it's really hard to actually just calm that up. Yeah, before he was kind of like a little bit and like hesitant to approach, and now he's just going in because the HP2 is just kind of giving him this free reign. Yeah. He has, he has the Pikmin to kind of run back and sit and kind of camp a bit, but he's just not doing that too much. He's kind of trying to contest YMCA. And it's not. It's never a good option to contest someone who has such giant hitboxes and like even trading is not really a good option because mm -hmm. it's so much more heavier. Yes, all my good kill power is a good percentage, but Don't oh Kong, no, in the same boat has a lot of kill power, has a lot of can rack up the damage and it's heavy. Yeah, he's able to survive longer rate, longer percentage. Yeah, so here. if you trade at a percentage of like twenty to ten, Donkey Kong still can come out even or ahead of that because he has that kill power and it's showing right now. That forward okay. air, man. 
This, there's like two. Okay, able okay. to dodge the back end there. YMCA. No, oh, that's, that's, it. That's, that's, it. It. that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. YMCA sealing it out. Good reverse. I, I can't even say like reverse three. Not a reverse, but like oh, there were a lot of situations. Was, I think it kind of was because he did lose game one and then got the next three. Yeah, so it, it was, was reverse three of. It was a lot that H, HB2 did for like a couple games that he was so close to taking it, but eventually he got stuck in the corner yeah. and YMCA was just going to go to town on that. Game one YMCA was kind of like.